How's everybody doing? I said, how is everybody doing? Now we all here. Now we family. We family. We family. I just want to introduce myself. My name is uh, Marcus Deshaun Standifer. I go by One International. And I just want to say I'm honored to be here in Marion, Ohio. Um, I want to give honor to, uh, where's my guy at? Riot. I, give, I honor him. He's really awesome. That's my brother in Christ. I also want to give honor to um, Mr. Dan Van Gundy um, for giving me an opportunity to be here. Um, so can you guys all give a round of applause for um, this event? This is very huge to be in the city of Marion, Ohio. Um, I just want to share a little bit about myself. Um, I come from selling drugs with the Mexican Mafia out in Los Angeles, California. And I need everybody's attention. I need everybody's attention. Because see, the thing is, we didn't come here to play games with the devil. We came here to take aim. We came here to take aim, right? So when I'm up here speaking, it's not about me, but I just have something to share with y'all because I come from something, right? When I say I come from selling drugs with the Mexican Mafia, I really came from the streets. I came from the hearts of hearts of the hood. I came from Cleveland Avenue, Myrtle off of Columbus, Ohio. I didn't believe in Jesus. To me, Jesus didn't even exist. You know why? Because to me, someone else's truth does not mean it's your truth. Someone else's testimony may not be your testimony. So you don't always believe what someone may say to you. So when someone was telling me about Christ, it didn't bear witness in my spirit because to me it wasn't relevant to my life or my circumstances or situations what I was going through. So I used to go around talking about how Jesus wasn't real. I used to sell drugs, proselytize myself, proselytize girls. I did everything under the sun of sin to the point where I didn't care where I was going. I didn't believe in a heaven nor a hell until my dad got murdered. I don't think y'all hear me. I said until my dad got murdered. And when my dad got murdered, I said these key words. I said, I wouldn't care if my dad was to die. I would not even go to his funeral. As soon as I said those words, the same day within five minutes, I got a call from my brother saying that my dad was murdered. And he got murdered from the same things that I was in the streets doing, selling drugs with the Mexican mafia, out here trying to make a living, thought that was a high life. So I did whatever I could do to try to have this life that I wanted, this life of abundance. And through all this, even when I had money, even when I had girls, even when I had those things, I still was empty. And I don't know if you understand, you can have money, you can have cars, you can have people that are are always flocking to you and still feel empty. So I was going through life empty. See, a lot of times people will try to praise you by what they see, but they don't know what the behind the scenes of what's really going internally in you. So I believe today we're all here because we're in search of something. It's not about a car, it's not about an Xbox, but we're here for a purpose, we're here for a reason. So I'm here just to minister what I've been through, and I pray that my music blesses you guys. It's not about me. I take no glorification from me being up on this platform because it's not about me, but it's all about the King of Kings. So I give God you the praise. I thank you today, Lord God, that people will be set free today, God. I honor you right now, Lord God, that I decrease, that you may give the increase, God. God, I pray that the people here will be released, Lord God. God, that you will have an impartation, God, for your presence alone, God. Now, God, as I give you the praise, God, I need you to move not by power, not by might, but by your spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. See, that's power in that name. The first song I want to bless you guys with, this is like one of the songs that uh, God move. gave to me. It ain't gonna move. It's called Afterlife. Now, by a show of hands, who knows what the word afterlife means? Just by a show of hands. I'm talking about people in the back, too, by a show of hands. Who knows the word afterlife? All right, all right. We got some participation. Cool. Okay, so God gave me this song called Afterlife. And pretty much what he gave me this song is not to be focused on the things of this life, but the things on the next life when we pass out of this dimension, right? So I would like everybody's participation. I'm not going to be long, I promise you. And I just want to see, I hope this music blesses you guys, okay? Track, yep. <laughs> 